Hey everyone, I'm just going to make this very short video to show you how to draw up vials of drugs, in this case specifically antibiotics. So this is the material that you need. We're going to make it up in a 20ml syringe. So 20ml syringe, and this is a blunt drawing up needle, but you need a large needle ideally. So a blue is a bit too small, it'll take you ages. Try and go for a green or even white needles. And if you have access to these blunt drawing up needles, then they are ideal. You have 20 mils of water for injection. So you check that it is water, it's what you think it is, and that it's within date, in this case, December 2022. We have the drug itself. In this case, we're going to be making up keferoxine, 1.5 grams, and labeling afterwards. So either have a label ready or have one of those blank labels that you can write something on. So, Will is going to show us how he makes up an antibiotic. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw up the water into the syringe. Now this is a 20 ml syringe, so we're just going to put 15 mils of water in it first so that your syringe isn't completely filled. You want a little bit of air or a little bit of extra space in your syringe so that you have room for the drug, the powdered drug that you're about to draw up into it. So we start with just a roughly 10, 15 mils or thereabouts. You don't have to be too precise, but just so your syringe isn't completely full. Yeah, so it's, there's still a little bit of air in it. That's absolutely fine. We'll pop the cap off. There's a little rubber top on it here. So needle through. And then we're going to push some water in and allow some air back out into this syringe. So you can push in lots of air back in, push in fluid and allow air back in. So this stops the pressure getting really, really high inside your glass vial. And you can see now that most of the fluid is in there. Some antibiotics are a little harder to dissolve than others. This one dissolves reasonably quickly. And it's one of the reasons we've chosen it just for a quick video. So you can give it a little bit of a wiggle, a little bit of a shake. And over the course of 30 seconds or so, it dissolves. Drugs like Piperacillin Tazobactam take longer to dissolve. And some drugs like Tycoplanin are extremely sudsy and you have to be careful drawing them up or otherwise you'll be there for ages waiting for bubbles to burst. So you can see that Ulla is injecting the air back into the vial, putting the needle down into the fluid to draw it back into the syringe. This just helps equalize the pressure. So you push the air in, pull the fluid out until all the fluid is essentially gone and your antibiotic is dissolved. So then if you need to make your antibiotic up to a specific volume, you now can. Most of the time in theatre, once it's between 15 and 20 mils or so, we're, we're happy. It doesn't need to be a specific concentration from some antibiotics. And we can give this as a slow push. Be careful of some antibiotics that need to be made up in larger volumes, such as vancomycin, and give in nice, of, nice and slowly to avoid any infusion effects like red man syndrome. But for simple penicillins and cephalosporins like this, that's how we draw them up. And that's how you make up your drugs. Labeling now, nice and clearly. Never leave a syringe down out of your hand or out of sight without labeling it for safety reasons. Thank you.